Hi, I'm Dr. Swarjla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. When we perform a semen analysis, we are looking at two different aspects of a sperm. It is called macroscopic and microscopic. In macroscopic, we are looking at pH of a sperm, maybe the volume, maybe the appearance, maybe we just want to see what is the volume, how viscous it is, how when is it liquefying. All these things are macroscopic analysis of the semen. When we talk about microscopic analysis, it's very, very critical that we look at the count, motility and morphology of the sperm. In addition to all this, we look for pus cells, we look for infections inside, we look whether there are any blood cells in it, if there is any infection happening, uh, white blood cells, all these things are very, very critical uh, for us to be able to give you a uh, valid semen analysis report. Now inside of this, we'll talk about viability. What is viability or vitality and why are we doing this? Viability or vitality, as the word suggests, is basically if it is alive, the sperm is alive or not. And how do we do that? We can check if it is moving or not. So progressive, non-progressive and immotile sperms are what uh, the different uh, categories are which have been uh, directed to us by World Health Organization. So if a sperm is moving, it is called as progressive. If it is just where it is and it's wriggling, it's, it's you can make out it's alive, it's called non-progressive. If it's not moving at all, then it's called as immotile. So when this sample is given, depending on the World Health Organization standards, we break down how many are progressive, non-progressive and immotile. Coming to immotile, because vitality is what we are discussing. Immotile sperms are those that are not moving at all. I said not moving, I did not say they are dead or alive. We don't know, they could be dead or alive. When the entire sample comes to us as immotile, we call it necrozoospermia, as in there is no uh, movement at all. It doesn't mean they're all dead. We need to find out if they're dead or alive. That is when we perform something called as a vitality or a viability test. Now, there are many types of these tests. Basically, I'll talk about two important ones. One is a horse test or hypoosmotic swelling test. And the other is a vitality stain test. We'll talk about the horse test first. HOS, hypoosmotic swelling test. Now this is a sperm is a very complex cell. When this plasma membrane, it's the sh it's the cover around the sperm is intact, it is alive. When it is broken, it is dead. So when we put the sperm in a hypoosmotic solution or even with water, when we you know mix the sperms, we see that the tails coil. If they have coiled, it means it is alive. That is the plasma membrane has not broken and the sperms are alive. When they have coiled, we know that they are alive. So out of 100, we count how many are alive, how many are dead and we give the report. The second type is vitality stain test. It is a eosin nigrosin very simple test again based on the principle of the plasma membrane whether it is intact or broken. If it is intact, it is alive. Therefore, the stain cannot go inside it and the sperm remains white. Under a light microscope, we can see it as a white shiny structure as a cell. Now, if it is dead, if the plasma membrane has cracked, the sperm takes in the stain and it looks pink. So when we do this analysis, vitality analysis by uh, staining, we check again 100 sperms, how many are dead or how many are alive. So this is a very simple test. But the difference between the horse test that I was talking about and the vitality test of uh, eosin nigrosin is that in horse test, we can use these sperms as we are testing and use it for ICSI, intracytoplasmic sperm injection. We cannot add it with water, we have to add it with hypoosmotic solution and we can use it for ICSI. But in the eosin nigrosin test, it is something that kills the sperm, isn't it? The stain is going in, so we cannot use the sperm. Um, we do eosin nigrosin when we are doing semen analysis. We do horse test when we are doing an ICSI live and we need to select sperms from totally dead sample. So this is a very important test and WHO has given the parameter that out of um, 100 uh, non-moving sperms, at least 54 should be alive. So at least 54 should have coiled tails or at least 54 they should be totally white. So this is what uh, are the guidelines for us. Now there is another one step ahead. Now we are doing a performance of ICSI and we see that the sperms are not moving at all. We add uh, a vitality uh, solution to it. It is called pentoxifilin. We add it and bring about vitality. It starts moving and we select the motile one and use it for intracytoplasmic sperm injection. So the solutions are many. All we need to do is when the entire sample is not having motile sperms, all we need to do is see if uh, there are any alive sperms and then take it up for ICSI procedure. If you want to understand more or would like to 
see if uh, any of your sperms uh, are dead or alive in a sample that has been reported as necrospermia you want to understand more about this please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you